Okay, so in this talk, we are going to do one example of uh, using the first derivative test to find local and endpoint extreme value. The function is this polynomial function over here, mm -hmm. and the interval is from negative 2 to 3. Okay, so it's a closed bounded interval, which means that in addition to finding the local maximum, you also have to answer the question of uh, of what what is the behavior at these endpoints. You have endpoint min or max at each of them. Okay, so what do you do? What's the first step? F prime. Let's calculate F prime. So what is F prime? Well, if you differentiate a polynomial, differentiate it term-wise, what do you get? 15x to the fourth mm -hmm. minus 15x squared. Okay. Now, since we are with polynomials, we don't have to worry about step two. Hmm? Right? Mm -hmm. So, step step two, no points. Okay. Step three, well, we have to solve where it's zero. And in the process, let's factor it, right, when we try to find, because that will also be useful for step five. So, f prime x is what? In the 15 now. 15 x squared. Hmm? x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay, what are the roots of this? 0, negative 1, 1. Okay, so these are the, so f prime x is 0 at, at these three points. Okay, so what are the critical points? x equals to 0, negative 1, 1. So, well, let's just arrange them in increasing order, negative 1, 0, 1. Okay, let's make a picture now. So, you're starting at negative 2, going up to negative 3, no, sorry, going up to positive 3. Uh, your critical points are negative 1, 0, 1. So, we have to find the sign of f prime. Uh, on what intervals? Four of the intervals. Four intervals, right? These, this, 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 and this. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just do it. So f prime on minus two minus one. Okay, what's happening here? Well, let's just go back here. So, you're between minus 2 and minus 1. So, the x square part actually, that will always be positive. So, this isn't really contributing anything to the sign. It's mainly this part, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you are less than minus 1, then so this, this x plus 1 is actually x minus minus 1. Okay? So, both of these are negative, right? Mm -hmm. So, what can you show the product? Positive. Positive. Okay. Uh, minus 1, 0. Well, you just crossed minus 1. Okay. Which means the sign of this thing now flipped over to positive. This still remained negative. So now it became negative. It changed sign. Right? Because you're crossing this critical point. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this, this, this factor is changing sign. What about 0, 1? Hmm? Negative. Still negative because now you're crossing zero, but at zero it's an even power. So it doesn't change sign as you move around the point. Uh, and then one, two, three. And your three isn't an issue really. It's just one onward. But since the function is restricted to that, we just go to three. Yeah, what's it? Positive. Positive. So you think it changed sign? Why did it change sign? Because it's greater than one now. The third part is greater than 1. Yeah, so now both of these became positive. This was already positive, so it's not positive. Okay, so now you can use the first derivative test, which, let's see if we can bring that out. So the first derivative test says, so positive on the left, negative on the right means max, negative on the left, positive on the right means min, and same sign on both sides means neither. Okay, let's string that out so we can do it from memory. So, so let's do the local maximum. So, so at minus one, what do you have? Local maximum. At zero? Nothing. At 
and at one, one local minimum local minimum so, at, so for one for instance you said on the left the derivative is negative and on the right it's positive means it's decreasing then increasing continues to the point so it's a local minimum okay let's do the let's calculate the values also uh, values i mean that there's nothing deep about that so we didn't talk much about that but if you have to find the values you have to find the values also right mm -hmm. so what's the value of the local max at minus one zero Oh, you mean the value of f? Yeah. Uh, that's negative three plus five seven nine. Nine. Uh, well, zero we don't have to bother because it's not a local maximum. And at one, the local minimum, the value is five. Five. Okay, good. So you calculated the these. Now the endpoint maximum. So at minus two, what do you have? The value? No, what's it? Is it an endpoint minimum or endpoint maximum? Endpoint minimum. You know, because it's increasing on the immediate right, right? Mm -hmm. The derivative is positive, and the value is what? The value is thirty negative ninety six mm -hmm. plus forty. Negative four, five, fifty-six plus seven. Hmm. Negative forty-nine. Negative forty-nine. Mm -hmm. And at three, you have a endpoint. What? Hmm. At three, you have a what? Oh, uh, S three. Hmm. Max or minimum? Local max. Not local. Oh, it's endpoint answer. max. And the value is what? Oh my God. Two hundred and forty-three times three. Ten. So it's a seven hundred twenty-nine minus one hundred thirty-five. So five ninety-four plus seven. I think it's six hundred one. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, it's one hundred twenty-nine minus three cube is twenty-seven, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, you know how to do this in principle. So I think it's six hundred one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this gives you the local max. Now you can check it. It's also some natural things you want to check, right? That the local max at minus one is bigger than the local min just after that because of decreasing. So the function is, uh, yeah, this is just so at minus two it starts off at negative forty nine. Mm -hmm. Then it's increasing till minus one, where it attains the local maximum value of nine. Then it starts decreasing. What's the value at zero? Though it's not local maximum, just for curiosity, what's the value at zero? Seven. Seven. So at minus one is nine. It goes down to seven at zero. It keeps going down. Reaches a local minimum of five at one, mm -hmm. and then it starts increasing again. And then by the time the input has reached three, the value is apparently six hundred one. Okay. Great. So we found the local max, local min points, endpoint max, min, endpoint max points, and the values of the function at these points. Okay, good.